Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The global semiconductor industry is undergoing a silent revolution. In March 2025, Cycaria, a Chinese company founded only three years ago, quietly exhibited a series of semiconductor equipment that is comparable to international giants at the Semicon exhibition from thin film deposition to optical detection, from etching equipment to power testing, covering the entire process of advanced processes below 7 nanometers. Although the lithography machine has not been publicly displayed, its technical parameters have directly pointed to the EUV field monopolized by ASML. Foreign media exclaimed, Cycaria may break ASML's dominance. Behind this technological breakthrough is the key leap from following to running side by side for domestic semiconductor equipment, and it is also a global game about cost, efficiency, and industrial chain autonomy. 1. From the equipment list to see the secret breakthrough of domestic semiconductors. The list of equipment exhibited by Cycaria can be called a technical show of Chinese landscape naming method, ALD, Ali Shan, is benchmarked against 5 nanometers atomic layer deposition, RTP, Sankingshan, aims at rapid thermal processing, and ETCH, Yishan, is aimed at advanced etching technology. These devices named after famous mountains are actually a declaration of debutification of domestic semiconductor equipment. 1. Thin Film Deposition, Alishan's Atomic Level Challenge ASML's EUV lithography machine relies on complex light sources and optical systems, but the equally critical thin film deposition technology in chip manufacturing has long been monopolized by applied materials, AMAT. Sicaria's ALD, Ali Shan, equipment, has achieved atomic layer deposition accuracy of processes below 5 nanometers for the first time, directly threatening AMAT's pricing power in the high-end market. Industry insiders revealed that its deposition rate and uniformity have reached the international first-line level, and energy consumption has been reduced by 30%. 2. Light Source Revolution, the ultimate showdown between LDP and LPP. ASML's EUV light source uses laser plasma, LPP, technology, which is expensive and complex to maintain. Sicaria's rumored EUV solution is equipped with a laser-induced discharge plasma, LDP, light source, which has a simpler structure and lower energy consumption. If the trial production is successful in Q3 2025, the cost of domestic EUV is expected to drop to 60% of ASML's equipment, which will completely rewrite the economic account of lithography machines. 2. Sicaria model why can it take ASML 20 years to complete its journey in three years? It took ASML 20 years to go from DUV to EUV, while Sicaria took only three years from its establishment to the news of EUV. Behind this, China speed, is the disruptive innovation of the technology path and the coordinated operation of the industrial chain. 1. The lane-changing overtaking logic of bypassing DUV and attacking EUV directly. Shanghai Microelectronics, SMEE, SDUV lithography machine has not yet made a complete breakthrough. Sicaria chose to directly tackle EUV. It seems risky, but it actually meets the needs of the Chinese market, skipping the repeated investment in mature processes and directly attacking the bottleneck link of advanced processes below 5 nanometers. This strategy is similar to Tesla's path of skipping hybrid and attacking pure electric. 2. Modular Integration Lithography machines are not one machine. Sicaria executives once hinted, the lithography machine is essentially a system integration of optical, mechanical, and material technologies. The equipment exhibited by it, such as Yuelu Mountain BFI optical detection and Tianmen Mountain IBO measurement, just constitute the core subsystem of the EUV lithography machine. This, break the whole into parts, attack in stages, research and development model not only avoids technical blockades, but also accelerates iteration efficiency. 3. 
ASML's real crisis, the cost butcher in the Chinese market. If Sicaria's EUV is mass-produced, it will not only affect ASML's market share, but also its business model on which it depends for survival. 1. Collapse of the price system, from monopoly premium to parity. ASML's EUV costs about $150 million, and the maintenance cost is tens of millions of dollars per year. If the price of domestic EUV is reduced to less than $100 million and a subscription or rental model is adopted, ASML will be forced to abandon its luxury positioning. Referring to Bose's impact on Samsung display, the semiconductor equipment market may enter the era of cabbage prices. 2. Localization of the service chain, the disruptive advantage of 24-hour response. ASML engineers need 48 hours to fly from the Netherlands to Chinese wafer factories, while Sicaria's technical support team can reach any factory in the Yangtze River Delta within four hours. This personal service, combined with the open architecture of domestic equipment, allowing customers to customize parameters, will reshape the power relationship between equipment manufacturers and wafer factories. 4. Sober thinking. Three major concerns behind the carnival. Although Sicaria has shown amazing potential, China's semiconductor equipment industry still faces deep challenges. 1. Secret War 4 Parts Lithography machines are just the tip of the iceberg. An EUV contains 100,000 parts, of which the lens comes from Germany's Zeiss, and the vacuum pump relies on Japan's Ibarra. If Sicaria fails to localize its core components, it may still be subject to secondary sanctions. 2. Ecological Barriers, ASML's Circle of Friends Moat ASML's joint R&D mechanism with TSMC and Samsung has been in operation for 20 years. To enter this club, Sicaria needs not only to meet technical standards, but also to rebuild trust, which is more difficult than conquering the laws of physics. 3. Talent Competition, China Needs 100 Lin Benjian ASML's success is inseparable from top Chinese engineers, such as Lin Benjian, inventor of immersion lithography. If Sicaria wants to replicate the miracle, it must build a global talent network, instead of relying solely on local elites. V. Future Battle, Reshuffle of Global Semiconductor Power The rise of Sicaria indicates that the semiconductor industry will move from unipolar hegemony to dual heroes. For the global industrial chain, this means the bargaining power of wafer factories will be improved. Companies such as SMIC and Changshan Storage will have a second choice and no longer have to endure ASML's long delivery time and bundled sales. Accelerated technology diffusion, emerging markets such as Africa and Southeast Asia may skip ASML and directly adopt Chinese solutions to build chip factories. Innovation paradigm shift. If the LDP light source is successfully verified, the global lithography technology route may shift collectively, and ASML's existing patent barriers may be marginalized.